What's going on, Recovering Depressos? This makes me really happy that you dance today. This, like, like honestly, dancing or physical movement at all, like, is a huge hug for your brain, and it's a hug for your body. And before you dance, just make sure you're always grounded in gratitude, because us being able to move is such a huge blessing that we often take for granted but you can totally move your hips like that. I feel like if you're trying to learn how to belly dance, like the easiest move is to like just, I don't really know what this move is called like this, but you guys know that song that says hips tick tock when I dance. It's kind of like your, your hips are a seesaw, right? You want to like bend your, bend your knees and make sure your, um, like you have, like your shoulders are brought back or you have a straight back, okay? And basically all you're going to do is you're going to move your hip up and then you're going to move the other hip up, okay? Naturally, when you move one hip up, the other one's going to go down. And notice what happens to my right knee when I bring up my right hip. It comes up. See that? Up. Up. And then with your next knee, obviously, or your left hip, whenever you bring up your left hip, your left knee goes up. So one, two, three, up. You see that? And then you just rotate. Bring up. You can go as slow as you want, okay? And try to engage your core. Like this is what it looks like when I'm not engaging my core. There's nothing wrong with this. But like try to engage your core. Like make sure you like you, you're aware of your core, okay? A lot of times we're not aware of our core. Uh-oh. My phone's about to die. No, -uh. go away notification. Okay. So, one more time. You're gonna just make your hips tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Right? And just be aware that your stomach exists. Be aware that your core exists. A lot of times we're focused on moving our hips. And we don't, like, we neglect every other body part that we have. That's not cool. Right? Just, just definitely. Ready? One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. You can go as fast as you want. Or as slow as you want. I recommend starting slow if, like, you're just getting into the habit of it. But it's a great, it's really a great, it's a great exercise. So I hope this helps somebody out there. And I'm really happy that you guys are dancing along with me. Even if you're dancing in your kitchen, that still counts as movement, baby. Mwah. Till next time.